today i'll be discussing the raw water engineering raw water engineering is a part of environmental engineering as you know that the environmental engineering is classified into three different categories the first one is raw water engineering second part is your waste water engineering and the third part consists of solid waste air and noise pollution so i'll be discussing the raw water engineering scheme and the layout in detail so to start with first what is raw water raw water is that water on which any further treatment can be carried out raw water is available in any kind of source it can be a surface source or it can be a sub surface source so let us take we have a city we have one city and this city the people who are living here this city has a water demand this city has a water demand so if i have to supply water to this city the very first thing i have to do is i have to find a source there must be a source which could supply water to this particular city so the very first thing i'll do is i will find a source source of water this source of water can be a surface source or it can be a sub surface source it can be river water or it can be ground water so what i will do is i will take my source in such a manner that it should be able to supply water to this particular city for at least of 50 years at least of 50 years then from this source now i cannot supply water directly to this city i cannot supply water directly from the source and supply it to the city i have to carry out different treatments before supplying the water to the city so what i will do is i will take the water from the source and i will bring it to a treatment facility i will take the water from the source and i will bring it to a treatment plant in the treatment plant i will carry out all the respective treatments which are desired after treating after treating this water i will store this water since because there is a lot of cost involved in the treatment of raw water so we cannot afford to waste any kind of treated water so what we do is from this treatment plant the water which is treated we will store that water in a service reservoir there is a unit which is known as service reservoir you might have seen the over a tanks located in your city so those service reservoirs are nothing but they are used to store the treated water and from this service reservoir water is distributed into various parts of the city to the various part of the city using using distribution system using distribution system this is a general raw water supply scheme from starting from a source and ending up to a city that means you are taking water from the source and supplying it to the city and in between you are carrying out the necessary treatment now the treatment of water is dependent on two major factors the treatment how much treatment you have to carry out that is dependent on two factors the first factor the first factor is the quality of source quality of water quality of water which is present in the source so first you will decide what is the quality of water and how much treatment i have to carry out to remove all the impurities from the water this is the first factor it is dependent on the quality of water in the source and the second factor is what is the desired quality of water that you require what is the desired quality of water that you require after your treatment so on these two factors your treatment will be dependent on right then this treatment plant consists of various units this treatment plant consists of various units so let us take let us suppose for this treatment plant i have taken water from this source the very first unit in the treatment plant will be 
screens screens what i am doing in screens is i am taking the raw water and i am bringing it to the screens screens the function of screens is to remove the heavier suspended impurities which are present in your raw water yes the heavier suspended impurities which are present are removed over screens the water is then passed on to the next treatment unit in a general water supply treatment plant the next unit is it is aeration tank it is aeration tank aeration tank this particular unit is normally used for subsurface water this particular unit is used to increase the concentration of dissolved oxygen in your water and also to remove the to remove the gases which are present like h2s carbon dioxide methane if they are present so this particular unit is used to remove the gases or basically i can say that aeration tank is used to remove the or aeration tank is used for the exchange of gases to increase the concentration of dissolved oxygen and to remove all these gases like co2 car carbon dioxide methane and h2s like that then from aeration the next unit the next unit the next treatment which is adopted is it is coagulation coagulation and flocculation coagulation and flocculation this process is generally adopted to increase the efficiency of sedimentation to increase the efficiency of sedimentation after this unit there is a unit known as sedimentation tank after this there is a unit which is known as sedimentation tank so what is happening here is those impurities those suspended impurities which are not retained over screens are removed in the sedimentation tank so this process this process coagulation flocculation increases the efficiency of your sedimentation tank in this process what we are doing is we are just increasing the size of the suspended particles if the size is more your your settlement efficiency in sedimentation will be more so this process is used to increase the efficiency of your sedimentation tank if the normal efficiency of your sedimentation tank is around 60% by using this process before sedimentation we can increase the efficiency of your removal of suspended solids to around 80 to 85% so this process is used before sedimentation after sedimentation there is a process there is a process known as filtration after sedimentation there is a process known as sedimentation sorry filtration in filtration what we do is we remove the dissolved organic matter which is present in water if by chance your raw water consists of any kind of dissolved organic matter this process filtration will remove that again the filtration process is classified in two types on the basis of gravity filters gravity filters and pressure filters pressure filters so this treatment unit is removing your dissolved organic matter after filtration after filtration the last process the last process or the final process which is given is the last process which is given to your raw water is nothing but disinfection disinfection in case of disinfection what we are doing is we are removing the disease causing organics we are removing the disease causing organics which are known as pathogens if the entire treatment starting from screens till filtration if these processes are, are not carried out then also the final there will be disinfection which is carried out disinfection is always the last treatment before supplying the water to the city so even if there is no need of all these treatment units but there will be a need of 
disinfection to be carried out so that it doesn't your water does not con consist of any kind of pathogens so here in this process we are removing removing pathogens pathogens in this particular case filtration we are removing removing the dissolved organic matter dissolved organic matter in sedimentation tank we are removing the finer suspended solids finer suspended solids this particular thing is increasing the efficiency of this in aeration tank generally exchange of gases exchange of gases takes place and screens are used for heavier impurities this particular thing this is the general layout of your treatment plant your treatment plant is normally designed for a duration period of 30 years the design life of any treatment plant is generally taken as 13 30 years and the design life for your pipes in the distribution system the design life for your pipes in the distribution system is generally taken as 15 years now if you see the treatment plant is designed for 30 years but the pipes are designed for 15 years the reason is the reason is we are following a conventional treatment since a very long time the technological advancement in case of your treatment plant is less than that in case of pipes so the technological advancement in case of pipes is more so that we design it for only 15 years so that we can change our process so that is the reason pipes are designed for 15 years and your treatment plant is designed for 30 years so this entire thing this entire thing is a layout general layout of your raw water engineering after this process disinfection the water is stored in the service reservoir and from the service reservoir it is passed on to the distribution system from where it can be distributed to the various parts of the city so it is a general layout of your raw water engineering we'll be discussing each and every treatment unit in detail